Hi there, uh, David Anderson or David Startouch. Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, not a lot has changed on the channel, so to speak. I've been do doing lots of videos, but I haven't been recording or recording them. I haven't been uploading them. Uh, as I've been trying to figure out the right situation, the right setup. So, as you may be able to see, when I put these glasses on, the light shines. So I'm still figuring out the lighting. Uh, I've got my trusty ring light. The set I'm setting up in the back, so I can kind of have multiple places. This great review table uh, has been lent to me uh, by my roommate who had no space for it. It's perfect for review, so I'm really looking excited, excited for it. I've got now access to the window behind me. It's bringing me some different daylight stuff. I've got my lights on right now. Turn down um, the, the, the ISO a little bit so you can enjoy some of the colors that I see uh, as well. And I'm playing with color science a little bit, so I look probably a lot better in this one than I did in my previous videos, which I'm happy about. Um, it's nice to actually look the right color instead of green or magenta. Uh, okay, so what is next? Um, still working on the dissertation, so that's taking a lot of time, but I want to start doing some more weekly, daily videos, it, even if it's just to talk to those few people who may stumble across the channel. Uh, I am going to be doing some new things with Survivor to Hero. I'm actually going to be adding a new coaching uh, feature to work with people who are bipolar. And I'm really excited about this. I will put out more details on the website and do a, a special video explaining this offering. Um, where this kind of came from is I have had a lot of people in my life, loved ones who have had manic depressive or bipolar. And one of the things I'm always reminding them or sharing with people who are even newly diagnosed in the ED or having an issue, is that some of the most effective people in the world are bipolar. And sometimes it happens later in life. So what I'll be doing is I'll offer a coaching thing, and one of the goals is to keep people out of the emergency room unless they absolutely need it. So the idea is, when, sometimes you ride these peaks and valleys, when you go get a little too high in the mania and you lose that grip of grounding, um, and you just stop being functional. You stop getting things done. Like the, that high energy stuff of being able to stay awake for a long time and not need as much sleep and starting projects, but not finishing projects begins to get away from you. So one thing that can help somebody ground, even with somebody who has ADD who's experienced this, is a, uh, like a coach or just someone in the room grounded. So the idea is I'll be offering a coaching offering for those who are highly functioning, uh, people who have a bipolar diagnosis, and want to make sure they can stay out of the hospitals, but want a professional to help them uh, kind of stay grounded. So I won't be doing med management. In fact, I, you know, just, uh, we'll be doing an intake, just make sure people are stable and this is the right option for them. But the idea is if we do this right, we can help you balance your life. You don't um, need as high of doses of medications. Usually med meds are still needed sometimes. And sometimes things happen, like you just escalate or you become too depressed and then you end up back in the hospital. My job will be to help reduce that as much as possible, to reduce any of the extremes, which will save you thousands of dollars, and it will help you be more effective and more functional in your life if you're bipolar, if you're working with me. So I'm really excited about that because I've realized I have a, I have a real passion and um, a very soft spot in my heart for people who have this gift and it's often feels like a curse. And so uh, the idea is we'll be working with highly functional people, highly successful people, and highly motivated people who uh, want to be the most effective and reach their potential in their life and manage uh, the cards that, with the cards that were dealt with them and manage the, uh, the mental illness. But I actually look at more as a gift, but managed by but bipolar. Because... Um, it's, it can be such a great gift. Some of the most effective and amazing people have been bipolar. And Jay Redfield, um, or Jane Redfield, is that right? The Unquiet Mind. I will look up her name after this. Uh, she mentioned how some of the greatest minds were lost to this world because of the depression part. And that as a, you know, I'm a licensed therapist, uh, worked in Colorado, Boulder, and a uh, certified life coach and yoga instructor and meditation person. And teacher and I I think having support in the downtimes and just you know some compassion could really make a difference so I'm really excited about offering that's the long story of what I'm going to be doing I will be definitely packing this down into a more digestible YouTube thing but I'm really excited about that so that will be a project coming up 
Um, and why am I kicking all this off? Well, because my student loans are coming due whether dissertation is done or not. So, um, plus I have to work at some income-based repayment thing because I work at the hospital. And my coaching is really my passion. It's the, the hospital's gotten me through in the ER, uh, or working in the ER, doing some good work, but it's a community hospital, and I would really like to help more people who are not in as much emergency situations uh, as rather like putting them in the hospital because it's too late to do a bigger, a simpler intervention. So I would like to work another end spectrum, so I think it's time. Anyway, uh, I have some fun microphones some uh, that I get to play with in different ways, so you'll, and camera lenses and things, so I look forward to seeing all of you who are interested in watching my channel and uh, just seeing my process. Again, this is my variety channel where I kind of do whatever I want and talk about whatever I want and get used to being on camera more. Uh, the Survivor Hero channel uh, is a bigger update. Ooh, the meditation stuff. I forgot to mention that. We are still recording. Um, I'm working on that. I've got my nice little, uh, in the lighted area, my uh, recording setup and studio for that. And I'm very excited uh, to be recording those meditations soon. So I hope you can't hear the fan in the background. I just realized it's on. It's white noise. It's been peaceful. It's like, oh, I should turn that off. Anyway, this, this video is going up as it is, but I will do better in the future on that. Meditations are coming. They're coming to this channel first where I do pre-production. And when I'm ready to go live, we'll start uh, uploading them in a series on Survivor to Hero that has a, uh, they'll have a music track and a non-music track. So if you're into silence, we'll have that. If it's, if you're into, um, maybe I'll do a white noise one, like this fan thing. That's, that's not a bad idea. Record some white noise. Um, my, uh, one of my roommates has this amazing cone of silence waterfall thing. I may have to do a video on it because it's really cool. Um, I've got just the microphone to record it so you can hear it. Uh, but it is like walking into a waterfall of sound. So he can't hear anything, dump trucks, trains, anything going by. And I think you might be interested in this setup. It's probably worth a video now that I think about it. Okay, well, this is David Anderson or David Star Touch, and I am going to be signing off and geeking out on something else, I guess. All right, uh, looking forward to seeing you on the channel. Subscribe if you liked this video. Uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up if it's a yay. Thumbs down if it's a meh. Or you hated it, actually, because thumbs down actually drops channel stuff. But thumbs up if you loved it. Uh, subscribe and click that little bell next to the subscription if you want to uh, stay on the updates anytime a new video is uploaded. And yeah, namaste.